Hey everyone, this is Flub here, and today I will be showing you guys how to download a texture pack successfully in Geometry Dash 2.1. Alright, so first thing you'll need to do is find whatever texture pack you want to, to download, I guess. So, for this video I'll just do a Sonic's texture pack, because why not? So, what you want to do is find wherever they have a download link, and if it's in Spanish, just translate the page. So... It says it's been translated, but it hasn't. Okay, whatever. So this is the one. This is low detail, or not low t no, not low detail. It's like PC and then medium uh, graphics. So once you get to an AdFly page like this, don't click any of these. Just make sure you click the skip ad instead. And then either your browser will support automatic direct or not, which means it'll just pull up, which mine doesn't. So I have to click the link, and then here you download, download the link. So, so what you will actually want to do to make this much easier is download WinRAR. It's, yeah, it's free. It's really, really easy, and it makes all of this so much easier. So once once you have it downloaded and it's here, you want to click on this arrow and then go to Show and Folder, and then you can really just exit out of Chrome right there. <clears throat> so now you have, now you see this in your um, downloads section. So what you will want to do now is right click on it if you have WinRAR and go to in extract here. And basically what it'll do is it'll take all the files in there and put them into here. So it, now you just see all of these files so that's that's good, that's good. Alright so next what you want to do is go to the um, extracted file and copy this. Alright so once you've done that you can exit out of that and then head over to Steam. And once you get here, you go to Games, View Games Library, uh, right-click on Geometry Dash, prof er, Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. <clears throat> so once you get here, um, you're directed to this little section, and you'll want to click on Resources, and then it'll open up all of the game resources. So what you'll want to do is right-click and paste so right now, here, right here, I'm pasting my folder with all of these, the texture pack things. And it says, the destination has 17 files with the same names. So what you want to do is replace these. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to back up my original files. So basically what I'll do is I'm just going to paste this just to have this here. It's not going to change anything since it's not in resources. And I'm just going to make a little copy of the resources folder just so... If I am regretting downloading this texture pack, I can just revert it back to the original. So right there, I have a copy that won't change anything right now. So I go back to this and copy the texture pack, go back into resources, and paste. So now I replace these files. <clears throat> and All right. So what you what you'll do here is once you put this in here, is you will want to click and open these up. And then you'll want to get all of these, copy, and then paste. So it'll say that it is the files with the same names, and you want to replace those. And by replacing this, the texture pack has now been added. So you go back into Geometry Dash, and hey, look at that. And we got <clears throat> the custom menu music, the custom icon things here. And obviously, custom Sonic's icons. <clears throat> so these do look really cool. I really like these. Alright, so normally you'd probably be like cool with just keeping these. But if you're like me and you would just rather go back to the original or a custom one that you already have, you'll want to just exit out and go back into here. And if you're just bringing it back to default, the easiest thing to do is go back to here and click Verify Integrity of Game Files. And basically, Everything that's in resources will get scanned, and everything that's different from the default will get removed. So it'll go back to the original, which is good. And if you if you have made a backup, basically you just delete resources, which is where you have your texture pack now, like the, the texture pack that you installed, and rename your backup resources. And then you can just delete that texture pack. So now we go back to resources with your original things. And let's play game. And hey, look at that. It's back to normal. 
No more custom things, no more custom icons. Except for my little custom ones here that I have. Alright, so thank you all very, very much for watching this. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded much recently. I've just been dealing with, dealing with tons of homework and stuff and just server problems with GD in general. So I'll be coming out with the next level request video tomorrow, hopefully. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And yeah, so thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.